If you see us doing some crazy shit, it's because we're paid professionals. Don't try this at home. Get it? Oh, stop it. Stop it. F you. <laughs> you used to be a plumber, didn't you? It's so cold. You know what's funny is the first time I've ever actually seen a douche was on on that movie with uh, all the vegetables that come alive and they talk. The sausage party, have y'all seen that? No. Pretend that like all of the things in the grocery store are alive, right? In the in a universe. Okay. So they're all alive and they're trying to be picked. Like the peep they want to be picked from the grocery store because it's like like that's like the way to heaven, I guess. I don't know. And so they're always trying to be picked, right? Well then when the things get to the house. I think like it basically shows a slaughter scene of them getting slaughtered because they're being cooked up for dinner, but they're like real, they like have like personalities and shit like the potatoes actually are like, oh, I don't know, it's crazy. The creeps, the creeps are called. Oh, oh, me eyes. Oh, kill me skin. Just peel me skin. Even after watching that phenomenal trailer, I'm still not into sausage parties. I'm just. Not for me. The trailer wasn't very good. He's trying go. to sell me on a sausage party. And I'm just... No, no thanks. Right now, we are pretty sure we're happy with the way things are looking. So right now, we're just trying to see if we can get the fire off. And if we can get it to sputter off and fire off, we'll rearrange and we'll put it on the dyno. Cram it right in the cram. I should have it in there with the scissors, but knowing my luck, I just fuck up the ribbon cable. Mm, those are not cheap. Kill the battery. You left this real long on here and he thought you needed to cut it. He didn't realize the ribbon cable was in there. And I cut the ribbon. Go undo the battery, please. I am. I am. He cut the ribbon cable. We have an extra one. It just sucks getting it through there. Kyle! He didn't need that cut. There was a ribbon cable in there, bro. So it appears that we have a rear main failure due to improper crank case pressure relief. Um, customer told me his catch can system would be fine. Uh, lie detector test confirms that's a lie. Something like it's personal, and I made this with my own hands. That's what I do. I mean, I like to throw stuff with my hands, and it's sentimental. And then hopefully, she'll always have it. I mean, kind of deal. Like, even when I'm not here, I'll be here one day. You know what I mean? One of those deals. Whoa, 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 look at that. This thing's like. Okay, let it down, Nick. We'll pull up in the front. Pull up in the front. Now come down. Back, back, stop. Come forward. Jesus, which, which way are we going here? Backpack stop forward. Is this like a cheat code on the PlayStation? Huh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're <laughs> gonna get some free weapons or something here. That was the easiest thing ever. I told you it would work. <laughs> it looks so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. All to wrap over it. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's got good paint on it now though, so it'll- This is the nicest this car's ever looked. Ever looked, before even I owned it. Yeah, it's never been this nice before. I'm gonna move the, the chassis outside. Okay. And then we're going to... Um, You're just gonna put it on the chassis on the ground? Low, yeah, so we don't have to lift it aside, so it's easier for us to lift. Yes, okay. exactly. Three. I'm carrying about 50 pounds to the front first. I'm gonna 
Bro, this way. No, yeah, just slide that forward to the corner. Yep. That's it. No way. No way. I think this way is. That's it. It's like 390. Bro. Come down. Come down. We'll find out. Just put it down. Kyle, 212. 212. Yes. What are we guessing? Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 500. 510. I say 580. Okay. What did everybody say? 500. 480. 510. 366. Boom. It's okay. That puts us at just over 500. 366 for 566 under 600 pounds. Well, he's trying to. I just. I just say two, two of mine. This should be good. No, no, you're yeah, good. We're good. We're good. Pressing on top, which is normal for this, so I don't know what's keeping it. I think it's. We gotta back. come. Yeah, we gotta come. Okay, so those are all right. Pump it. Um, so we obviously have fuel and we have spark. So the only thing it could be is the timing. Um, we're gonna make sure that we got the timing right. Um, it's kind of a process in the Holly system. So we'll make sure we got that right. And if that's right, then we'll, we'll see what we gotta do from there. It being very fun. Gotta like assemble my tool in there. Yeah. You like, we're gonna get this right and it's gonna fire up, hopefully. We went back and tinkered on the Willis, and so we got it to fire up. It ran for like five or six minutes. We're real happy with that, so we know that like on our side of the holly, we know what we need to do to get this car running. But unfortunately, after we let it sit for a few minutes, um, we went to go start it again, and we broke some teeth off of the flywheel from the starter. So sometimes these big blocks will backfire if the starter is engaging and the flywheel is also engage engaging. You're gonna break something. We broke the flywheel. We're gonna whip that out real quick and get that fixed up. Then hopefully this car will be done. So some of these projects are like having an argument with a woman, right? It's something just real small, real minor. You think, ah, oh, there's no big deal. We'll get over with. And the next thing you know, shit hits the fan. You're two elbows deep in a horse's ass, and you just don't know what to do. Yeah, that's just, it, it sucks because it really screws up all our scheduling. Some of you may be stuck in prehistoric times using ancient technology, such as carburetors. Come to the future with me. Here in the future, also known as modern day, our scientists have developed cures for poor drivability, poor reliability, and poor performance. Using modern advancements in electronic fuel injection, these amazing innovations can be found on our website at jessiesperformance.com. Is it? You got all the bell housings out? Yeah. Nice, nice. Where did Nick go? Did he die? He hasn't been around for like an hour. We're on a, we're on a Nick search here. Nick! Nick! Oh, that's Kyle. Oh, Nick might be out here having uh, lunch with his lady friend. I was like, where did Nick go? I haven't seen him in forever. So, found him. My lunch time. I remember you said that, some about that, so. All right, well, we're going back to work. They can't be girlfriends. They, he asked her to Valentine's dinner. She don't believe in Valentine. She don't believe in any holidays. Uh, What's in the box? A cupcake. He got, he got a box on his lunch break. I got a cupcake. Nice. I'm so sweet. But I thought there wasn't a celebration of holidays. That's why it's like non Valentine-ish. Most generic box. Like, where can I get What kind of cupcake is it? Vegan. Yeah. You'll see 
we have a lot of these projects come in sometimes. Um, and a lot of these short-term projects will dig into the time of what we're supposed to be using it during the week for our long-term projects. So you'll see a lot of cars like this uh, Blue C10 is another perfect project. Came in for a tune. Now we're doing rear end stuff. We've replaced the transmission. We rewrite the Holly. You know, this car came in, I think, even for a tune up too. We repinned and re did a jolt harness for Holly for it. Um, we did a Holly uh, PCM on it. You know, now we rebuilt the motor. And now we're kind of just like, you know, all these little things like came in for tunes. Now they're turning into big projects. So the intake is absolutely screwed. Okay, that's fine. So here is further example of something on its way out that just is kicking and screaming not to leave this thing right here is just it's not unusual a lot of these projects they get down to the 99 percent and then we have a catastrophic malfunction of some nature that we got to fix uh, unfortunately this one's on us sometimes we get lucky and it's the customer's parts are crap and you know we at least get paid for our time but this one here is on us <laughs>